Alrighty, for second grade, we are going to do cool color polar bears. And when we're doing our cool color polar bears, um, we're going to also work on blending um, crepas, because you know that's what crepas are the best for. So we're starting with a cool color paper. And for our cool colors, I am using, I'm not gonna really use a lot of green, because you don't really see green when you think of snow. So I'm going to just grab some cool colors out of the crepa box. Kind of hard to tell. And I'm gonna start by making a pretty big circle on my paper. And if you notice, it's actually more of an oval and it's right in the middle of the paper. It gives me room up here to make two little rainbows for ears. And then it gives me room to make two lines to the side for my polar bear body. You will be excited to know that this is the one project where it's totally great to make cutie eyes. So I'm gonna draw my circles and I'm gonna make two little circles for the cutie eyes. Then I'm going to make my nose and my nose is actually going to be an upside down triangle have people draw them the other way. When you're done with all of that, we're just going to use some of our cool colors to make some fur on our polar bear. And I don't need a lot of fur lines. I just need a few. And this is going to give my polar bear some depth so it's not just boring plain white. And I can use again on the edges. And I'm doing short little lines. I'm not making really long lines. And again, you don't have to do a whole bunch with those. When you're done, you can start coloring white. And the first thing I'm gonna color white are the insides of my eyeballs. And then I'm gonna start coloring everything else white. And see, when I go over this white, it starts to blend all those colors so I get a little depth in my polar bear. So I'm going to color them all white, color around everything, so you guys kind of get that idea. When I'm all done coloring my white, you can color the inside to your polar bear's pink. I'm going to use these cool colors that I've taken out and I'm going to color my background. And again, I want to blend. That's the great thing about cray paws is how easily they blend with other colors. And you can really just build those colors up. This mint color is one of my favorite colors for using this in this project. It just is great when you're blending all these other colors together. Sometimes it's easier to start with a dark color and then go over it with a lighter color to blend them all together. You might want to outline. So now if I go, oh, oh see, look at that. When I go over, see all those great lines? When you're all done, Two of the last things you're going to do is I'm going to add little snowflakes, again, using my white. And then the very last thing you're going to do is, and it might be hard to find, oh good, black. I'm gonna color my eyes black. Color your nose black. And if you wanna add a little highlight in your nose, that's fine. And I do want to outline it. So if you can see in my example here, the very last thing I did, I added my snowflakes, colored my eyes and my nose, and then I outlined it. And if you notice, I gave some little fur lines to make it look like my bear was furry. If you wanted to add a little white highlight to that nose, 
you can. It's a little bit gray because I waited and did it at the very end. 